Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for COCl2 plus CaOH2. This is cobalt 2 chloride, and we have calcium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do when we write these net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and it's already balanced, which is really nice, because now we can write the state for each substance. And that looks like this. So compounds with the chloride ion, they're in general very soluble. Calcium hydroxide here, calcium hydroxide, hydroxides in general are insoluble, but calcium, that's an exception. Calcium hydroxide, we consider this to be aqueous, soluble in water. So we're going to split this apart into its ions. But hydroxides in general are insoluble. And cobalt hydroxide, that's an insoluble compound. What that means is these two will react. We produce this cobalt hydroxide, which is a solid falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So that's our solid there. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. The reactants on top have two chloride ions. On the products, two chloride ions. Cross them out. I have a calcium ion here in the reactants, and in the products, I have the calcium ion. Cross that out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for cobalt 2 chloride plus calcium hydroxide. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for COCl2 plus CaOH2. You'll note charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus here. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So that adds up net charge of 0. This is neutral net charge of 0. If we count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for cobalt 2 chloride plus calcium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.